No, I know it's the Hold last me. time. Hold me. Hold me, mother. <laughs> I am your son from the future. Hold me, mother. <laughs> I want to feel young again. <laughs> And I'm Carter. And welcome to It's Kind of a Gray Area. Season, Season finale! finale. <laughs> Woohoo! Got all these balloons. Yeah. We gotta hold on to those. Oh, yeah. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna make them into Oop, something. Sorry. I made mine into a bigger balloon. That was fast. I am I'm a balloon artist. You're better than me. Oh. Do that too. Crew's having fun. So we're just gonna, yeah, this is season finale. We can do whatever we want. We're just gonna do this for 12 minutes straight. Let's set a record. What's the record? Oh, you jerk. Ah! <laughs> we're too close. Okay, maybe we should move on. <laughs> we should step aside. We're gonna we're gonna fight. So okay. Quick balloon animal I'm gonna here. Turn that back into some balloons. You gotta form the liver of the dog. Yeah. And then you yeah. wrap that around the tree yeah. through the rabbit. And then there's your uh, there's your puppy. And boom. There you have it. You guys didn't know I could do that, did you? I think mine's more impressive, but. That's beside the point. We are celebrating our season finale. We are. We have made it through an entire season of this show. We all have, you included. Thank you so much for joining us for this first amazing season of It's Kind of a Gray Area. I caga. Yep. We what had, a ride it's been. It has been a fantastic ride. We had a wonderful time. Yeah. Yep, we talk about it all the time about how much fun we're having. Yeah, and we are gonna keep having fun. Yep, in season two, coming up in a few weeks. About like two weeks. Yeah. Yeah. Give or take a few days. All right, so this would not be an episode of Akaga without a shade. That's very true. And then we got a shade for you. Yes, we do. We have been saving this the entire season? Yeah. So, th ever since we started this series, we're like, we're just waiting. We're waiting for this one. Back in pre-production, like four or five months before you guys saw anything yes. that we put out, yep. when we were still building the set and getting everything ready, we held on to this idea because I think... It may be the most popular, well-known shade that people talk about a lot. Yes. And we have purposefully held off from talking about it, but we can't wait anymore. I'm so excited. Yes. We are talking about, which actually, it's all this build-up. You guys saw the title and the thumbnail. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> you, you already know. We're talking about killing baby Hitler. Yes, we are. Yep, we're going there. People have always wondered, like, if you could go back in time and kill Hitler and stop the Holocaust, should you do that? Is it wrong to kill a baby if the baby grows up to be a murderous dictator? Yes, and and that is really like where it becomes a gray area. Cause if you say like, oh, would you go back and kill Hitler? It's like, yeah, yeah, we should all go back and kill Hitler. Let's right. do it together. It'd be like a fun activity. Yeah. But if you go, let's go back and kill baby Hitler. You're like, oh, baby Hitler. Oh, baby, that's, mm, that really makes me question this. You know, the other thing I'm just realizing, huh. Hitler shot himself in the head. So Hitler was the man who killed Hitler. That's a book. Yeah. We should write that book. We should have a, a, a big Hitler book. killing Hitler? No, no, it's just like the man who killed Hitler, and you open it up and it just says Hitler. And then there's like 400 the blank end. pages. <laughs> Basically a sketchbook, I and guess. And you have a big like index. And right. Like <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, let's dive in on this thing. We've been holding back for, what, 54 episodes? Uh, Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Jeez, man, we have put a lot of episodes out there. We have. We initially were only going to do like 50 episodes for this series. We were planning to do just limited run, 50 episodes, yep. is what it is, put it out there, let the world do what it does to it. But it's just too much fun, man. I'm it's sorry. So we're not going fun. away. We're we're just going to keep doing this till we run out of ideas. Yep. And sorry, guys, we've got a lot of ideas. They just keep coming. You guys are really helping, too, with your different things that you guys come up with, which some of them are just pretty awesome. Yeah. Let's just take a moment to say this real quick. Yeah. Thank you, guys. You make this so much fun to do we know we're not a huge channel we know that we don't have like millions of people subscribing but we do very firmly believe the people who are watching this are just great people and we love talking to you guys we love hearing your ideas yep. love seeing your comments it's we just love this little community that we're building and it doesn't matter if it's huge because we're all here together and we're all enjoying this and we're all gonna kill baby hitler <laughs> i like to think so on that note i'm gonna take a minute and say to everyone that has subscribed, everyone that enjoys our show, here's to you. Here's to you. I'm gonna do a little clink.
There you go. That uh, that cup's adorable, by the way. I know. I went I went with a teacup today. Hmm. I could have gone bigger, we could, like grand finale. But I, you know, I said to myself, Carter, use the smaller mug. No matter how many times it happens, it still weirds me out when my reflection in the mirror says something different than me. <laughs> Should I use this? Yes. Um. <laughs> so let's talk about killing baby Hitler. Right off the bat, do you have a yes or no answer to this? I think morally, you have to because of everything he did. Now, you can go other directions with well, maybe I could prevent him from becoming that person. Right. Do I have to kill him as a child? Like, that is tough. Let's say 80 people out of 100 say, yes, I would kill baby Hitler. But then I think if they actually, if you're like, all right, there he is. Like, I think they'd be like, oh, here's a knife. Oh, no, I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> like, I yeah. think they'd back out real quick when you're actually looking at a child that is currently not like the Hitler we all know and hate. Right. Um, I think your opinion will change. Uh, New York Times Magazine did a poll on this a few years back. I think 42%. Like, like really recently? Like like 2014. I'm just really surprised like a magazine like wrote an article about it. Yeah, but there are also magazines that write about like what type of cheese are you? Pepper Jack. I feel like Gouda. Sometimes I feel a little Gouda. All right, well, let's break this down first of all. My answer is no. I would not kill baby Hitler. Oh, okay. Um, Did just, not expect that. Let's assume that you're not going to cause some sort of cataclysmic bad thing to happen let's take that off the board so we can really yeah it's just be... focus. Let, you go back you stop the uh, you kill baby hitler it stops the holocaust the rest of history works out exactly the same how somehow and the only thing that would change is that the holocaust didn't happen let's assume that but i still wouldn't kill baby hitler because i think there's another better way to go about this okay. that doesn't involve killing a baby <laughs> which right. even though it's hitler you're still killing a baby and that, I know, that baby so hard has yet to do anything, go back in time and then pretend to be like a Jewish painter that like tutors him. And then like, you just like kind of, you know, just be this Jewish person in his life that helps him with his artwork and is always encouraging and positive. Then he grows up as a better artist and loves Jewish people. That's true. That's just like so much work or you just kill him. So is that your answer? You just kill him? <laughs> it's just so much work. And I gotta admit, I think that's the braver choice because you have to be willing to stay behind and like, you know, yeah. it, it's the easy way out is to just kill a baby. Well, okay, no, here's the thing, though. If you if you are going back in time to save, you know, to prevent the Holocaust to save so right. many people, then you are then giving up basically your life, mm -hmm. 20 years, solid, all right, um, to tra train, tutor, befriend Hitler. Right. So you're giving up your life to better Hitler. Yeah. Ah, I don't know if I can make that justification. But you're not doing it to, like, the Hitler that... I know. You know. There's, there's an alternate Hitler now. See, some just, some I, people are born with, like... I, I couldn't. I couldn't just be like, oh, Hitler, you'll be good one day. <laughs> I'm just going to throw up if I said that. Right. Well, you just said it now. I know. My final answer is I, 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 would, I would kill him. You would? I would. Ugh, I feel like a horrible person. How would you do it? I... Uh, would you just walk up and just like, no. that's a gunshot noise. <laughs> We're outnumbered. <laughs> Are you shooting a paint gun? <laughs> yeah, I would. I, I mean, I'd probably, it'd be like a poisoning or something. I, I can't, I can't do like a, would, like a little stabby stab. Right, or, right. Nothing with blood. Yeah, oh, yeah. So you man. just go back and poison a baby. I gotcha. I gotcha. Uh, yes. I'm so sad at myself right now. Right. What would you, what would you do? I would go back in time and pretend to be like his Jewish friend that tutors him with art and helps him be a better person and push him along the right path. And, you know, if I see it like 14, 15, that he's kind of going down, like, you know, he comes home one day and he's like, yeah, this Jewish kid was balking my way on the road. <laughs> then, like, yeah, you know, that might just be too much of a red flag there, Adolf. I really thought I raised you better, Hitler. I really did. So I would, I would do that. Right. Which I don't want to repeat. Uh, you and, would poison a baby, and oh, I sorry. would try to make him a better person. If I see that it's not working out, then I will take one for the team and kill Hitler. Then you're, are you taking one for the team, or he's taking one? Taking one for the team he's morally. He's taking one from the chamber, then. <laughs> let's cut it there, and let's let the universe decide on yes, this one. Yes, all right. Oh, man, this is a big moment. This is. I'm mean, having wait for this. The for universe. Months. Like, the New York Times Magazine may have done a poll, but we're about to find the answer. So, this is not just an opinion piece. This is the universe. Yep. All right, so let's find out. Rock, Rock paper, paper, scissors, scissors shoot. 
<gasps> Rock, yeah. paper, scissors, shoot. Man, okay, the universe does not like Hitler. You should murder that baby! Yeah, apparently. Um, Man. Whew, okay. I'm glad we know. I've been wondering this for over four months. Yeah, this was almost our first episode. Yeah, but we're like, nah. We gotta save it. Keep it in the chamber. Yep, keep it in the chamber and save that one for baby Hitler. Mm, this is too uncomfortable. Does that make you feel better? This makes me feel a lot better, actually. Well, happy party. Happy party, guys. Oh, actually, yeah, that loaded my blood pressure. No, this okay. is great. All right, so let's just go right into the Would You Rather. Let's do it for the last time of season one, the Would You Rather. Woo-hoo! It is here. It is now. It is time. Mm-hmm. Let's just do it. Yeah. Would you rather be able to time travel one time. Okay. One direction, so you can't come back. Okay. Time travel, you're there for forever. Okay. Or be able to teleport three times. So, and that's also a one-way thing. Yes. Like if if you way. teleport somewhere and teleport back, that's two. That's not just like one trip. That's yes. two. Okay. I think I'll take the teleport. You could be driving somewhere, and then you are right about to get into a wreck. There's someone coming headfirst at you. Just side of the road. You're all, you're all good. <laughs> yeah, screw them. I, I can't like really do anything about them. We don't both have to die. Yeah, you're going to sit there and be like, well, I don't have time to save him, so I got to go too. I see your point. That's, that is, there are several times in my life I'm like, I wish I could teleport right now. Right. They would have been wasted. Uh, but I would choose time travel. See, we've talked about this before. Sure. I would like to travel back to when I was like a kid. Right. And just kind of relive my life. But with time travel, I would be me still, an right. adult. So you would go back and be like a mentor for yourself? I would like to go back to like when maybe I was like 10. And I would then join my family. I would explain to my mom and dad like clearly who I am. What right. has happened. What has transpired. Right. And I would... You think they would believe you? I, th- I think I could convince them. But do you think if you showed up at their door and were like... I know this sounds crazy, but your 10-year-old son and I are the same person, and I need to see him. (laughs) Like, I can prove who I am if you just take a sample of my blood. I think they would just be like, you need to get off the farm. (laughs) Yes. Uh, Yeah, when I was 10, we moved to the farm, and I know they had extra room at the farm where I could live. Yeah. And, like, I would know, again, we've gone back to, like, knowing stocks and everything. Like, I would know all this stuff, like, you should and shouldn't invest in. Right. A Bitcoin. (sighs) Right? Yeah. Yeah. And just all that stuff. So I would, I would love that. I would do that. Yeah. I would do that. I think it'd be so cool. I'd be so, like, surreal. That's That would would be a pretty good use of time travel, I gotta say. If you're gonna be stuck somewhere, be stuck somewhere you know. Right. And I gotta say, I would think I would use my two teleports for, like, emergency situations, but I would always save that last one for right before I'm about to die. In whatever situation. I don't care if I'm, like... Mars! (laughs) Well, no, like, just... I like I want to be there in bed in the hospital and I'm like getting ready to pass away and everyone oh. <laughs> gathers around me and I just look at them and I'm like my time has come goodbye and then I'll just <laughs> teleport like out into a field and my dead body will just be out there for, until they find me but for everyone there it'll look like who was he <laughs> So, so we're gonna wrap this up for the last time of season one. Let's do it. Yes, you know what's gonna make me sad? We're not done after season one. What's gonna make me sad is one day we will have to do this for the last time. Yep. Like whether or not it's when we're like eighty-seven, like we've just had the most fantastic career that's lasted that long. So somehow. you're just capping this at eighty-seven, huh? But yeah, one day we will have to sign off forever. Yep. Oh, another sad thought to think about. <laughs> oh yeah, let's go through them. Right. At one point in time, your parents put you down and never picked you up again. Oh, that's so sad. And no one knew when that moment was. It it's just true. happened quietly. I'll go over to my uh, parents' house and have my mom pick me up. <laughs> you should. <laughs> no, I know it's the Hold last me. time. Hold me. Hold me, mother. <laughs> I am your son from the future. Hold me, mother. <laughs> I want to feel young again. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's a good note to end, though. <laughs> oh, my gosh. All right, so we decided that you should kill baby Hitler. Yeah, Matt would poison a baby. <laughs> Hitler! Right. He's Hitler! <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, justify it however you want. And um, and I would time travel back to my childhood right. and join the family. Yeah, and I would save my three teleportations, uh, use them for emergency situations, and then a dramatic death. There you go. Season one. Season one. Wrapping it up. All right, so for the last time. Of season one. Of season one. Remember to comment, like, and subscribe. Be sure to charge your flux capacitor before leaving the house. Hmm, smart man. Ring the notification bell. Do unto others before they do unto you. 
And uh, stick around for season two, where we kick it up a notch. Mm-hmm. And as always, I Kaga. Yup. <laughs>